Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? As promised, I am back with Samba. Oh man, I'm gonna continue the prologue. I split it into two because I guess some people would prefer a short video and some people, you know, long videos just don't do as well. So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna continue on the story. I'm gonna be reading the entire story event because I actually generally really loved it from that first part. So I just wanna continue. So if you like this, uh, this series, please leave a like. It's gonna probably be the only time I'm gonna be able to do it and that's because I love Samba quets that much. It's Christmas season again, senpai. This mash. Full full. Looks like this year Santa isn't wasting any time. This year Santa sure has been keeping busy. Ole! Has the samba rhythm got you yet? Are you all nice and warmed up? Then let's get this present, <laughs> this present party started, yes? So flashy, it's refreshing. So pointed, it's dangerous. From high atop the ring post, here comes an avalanche of presents. Ah, good boys. These are in fact not good boys. She definitely has a unique way of hand... <laughs> I just realized she just fucking <laughs> dropped a shit ton of presents on them. She definitely has a unique way of handling out presents, but at least nothing strange is going on. I think we might have a normal Christmas in Caldea this year, relatively speaking. Hey guys, we gotta talk. Can you swing by the command room real quick and uh, bring the Lichadora with you too? Ah, come on, Mash. Lucha? So that's what's been going on this time leading up to Christmas this year. With me so far? So that's what the Samba thing was about. Hehe. <laughs> oh no, I'm so embarrassed. I guess even goddesses can make mistakes just like mortals. Now we get to the real problem. We found out where the other half of your power and Christmas Grail went. Oh, bravo. I wasn't exactly worried about it. No, but knowing is always better. So where did they go then? To your home, Mexico. Last week, in fact. They went while Christmas preparations were still underway. Oh, I'm not so sure what you mean. You understand when you get there. Trust me, it's not your everyday Christmas prep. Something is clearly messed up there and we definitely have to sort it out. We may even have a minute singularity on our hands. A mini. So basically, you want Senpai to go there and investigate as usual. Yep, pretty much, but don't worry, you'll also have a capable ally helping you out again. Isn't that right, Quetzalcoatl? If you don't mind helping to clean up this mess you made, do you? Of course not. Once I've collected the things I dropped while I was changing, I'll be back to hand out more presents in no time. Well, there's no time like the present. Let's get this Samba Ray Shift party started, yes? Again, my accent for Quetz is all over the place, mainly because it's weird because the Samba is not Mexican in nature. Oh! This is fucking awesome! A white Christmas in Mexico? 4-4. Four, four. What? I was aware that in some areas of Mexico, the temperatures could, have, could get under freezing. But there shouldn't be anywhere staying that cold enough to, what? But there shouldn't be anywhere staying that staying that cold long enough to accumulate so much snowfall. And this doesn't look like fresh snow either. I suggest you use the winter clothes I packed for you, Master. You should find them at the bottom of your bag. I heard Blackbeard grumbling about how there's nothing sadder than catching a cold on Christmas, so I wanted to make sure you were prepared for anything. Of course I made sure to pack a fluffy scarf for you too, foe. Fo fo. Fofi. There's our first major abnorm abnormality, then. I can't imagine what just happened on its own. Now, what about the people living there? Very clearly Mexican, as Japanese man and Morgan Freeman. Uh, Bert, I'm freezing. It's never been this cold before. So cold. But I haven't been. But I haven't been this excited in ages now. That is finally about to open, so what's your money on? The Mexican team, of course. I know the obvious choice, but there really is something about them that makes me feel stronger. They're like the sun god come to life. True, true. 
But the Russian team seem pretty tough too, don't you think? I mean, as long as we're thinking in that direction, there's nothing frightening or unpredictable about the Chinese team too. This guy is turning into Mexican Pete Lori as more I go on. Very strange, yes. Even though this bizarre cold is bothering them, they seem more preoccupied with something else. Whatever is going on, the whole town seems abuzz with excitement, yes? Just goes to show that humans can adjust to almost anything. This weather should be unheard of, uh, unheard of there, but everyone's just dismissing it as merely odd. Mm hmm. Oh, uh -huh, we just got a reading that looks might be related to the Holy Grail. I'll send you the coordinates right now, so you can stay on your guard and head on over there to see what you can find. You got it. Yes. I should really add an uh to make it seem like. Even the jungle is covered in snow. It's kind of refreshing in a strange sort of way. You should be coming up the target area. Uh, I don't know why I gave Da Vinci that. You should be coming up the par target area pretty soon now. What the? I think I see something. A pyramid? It could be a temple or a sacrificial altar. Uh, I wonder which it is. Huh? Who's there? There you are, my other half. I have been waiting for you. <gasps> Evil Quetz. I would still bone her if possible. What? What are we talking about? Alright, let's see. Uh, I need an Avenger for this fight. Don't have an Avenger ready yet. I don't have my quets, so obviously. Okay, let me go here. If I remember right, quets has a crazy attack bonus up. So I'll use this. There you are, my other half. I've been waiting for you. Oh wow, can I see Lutadara with the amazing mask? I might have to get her autograph, yes? <laughs> if you don't already know, it's the other half that you were searching for. Full full. I suppose this isn't the best time to be joking. Let me set my fighting spirit aside and do this properly. Mm hmm. Hola, my other half. I'm here to take you home. I can see you must have split off from after my spirit origin became more sente. Pero, you need to come back to me. Um, me. Come back to me, um, me. What are you doing here, anyway? I'm trying to see if I can give a better, different accent. No. You saw the town for yourself, isn't it obvious? I'm getting things ready. Huh? Ready for what? To create the truth, Santa Claus. What else? This ritual relies on the Christmas girl's power. Whoever wins will become the true Santa. Behold. Yeah. Ring. I plan to hold a competition that will decide the true Santa. The International Santa Tag Team Tournament. Turning her more crazy Latin, I think. That's no altar, it's a ring. That belongs in a museum. Gah! What's wrong with me? Nothing about this makes sense, but I can't help wanting to go along with it. Um, uh, Quetzalcoatl? Oh, see, I only meant if nothing else, I can tell she has a great deal of love for Lucha. This really isn't the time to be admiring that. These readings make it pretty clear that she's got the Holy Grail under control. We can't let her keep it. Master, Quetzalcoatl, please, you have to stop her. If you want to stop me, you're very welcome to try. But I'll warn you now, Master Arcadia, and my other half. You'd be wasting your time. I am Black Quetzal Mask. I am the strongest Ruda. Ah, they actually used the uh, luchador, what they call him, which is Rudo and Ruda. Ruda to ever live, I am the monarch who will reign over the greatest show in all the world, Christmas. 
those of you who have never been stepped into the ring will be down and out before the ref can count to three. I do want to constantly mention I am Mexican and half a Salvadorian, so... Oh, man. Sometimes it helps to let people know. Some people, I think mostly white people, can tell that I am a Hispanic of some kind. Yeah. Oh, my God. I like how she's like, eh, hey, 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 hey. And then when you go in, she's like, hey. She's like the happiest I've ever seen. Oh, I love her. Even your evil side, girl. I love it so much. I love it so much. I want to be sandwiched between the both of you. Ow! Damn, hit him right in the fucking face. Okay, let's so let's go heal. Go here. Go here. Go here. Let me see if I can stun her. It's actually really a pain in the ass to stun someone who is, um... Um, who is, has any form of divinity because they can just easily nullify it and then you just lose. You need more height. I need to get- I need more drink! Because doing all that voice stuff is not easy on me. I had an open go cool and open the sprite. The Wookiee story. <laughs> Let me go here. I should be able to take down her first life level with this. Perfect. That should be enough to take her down. Perfect. Now hopefully the fight ends after the one break bar. Otherwise I'm in big trouble. Knew it. Ooh, nice fancy. Big fan, big fan. Let me drink some more of the scope goal. <sighs> She's strong and beautiful. I am you, the side of you that embraces fighting in all its forms. And like I said in my smack talk bit, you can't touch me. Ah, entiendo. That's so. That's why you chose it. <laughs> so that's why you chose the tournament as the format for this ritual. <laughs> it would be so easy to just kill you both now, but you're in luck. She's turning into, um... Stimpy, you idiot. Um, Ren, from Ren and Stimpy. I thought you might show up, so I kept a special C slot open for you so you could skip the prelims. You can take it and try to make your way through the tournament. I will fight here in Mexico. Claro. 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 If you're lucky, you can settle this in the finals. Rituals often find the effect of bringing two vastly different forces together, like human and nature, or gods and humans in this case. Fighting will bound by the rules should help get around the difference in strength, but... Um, can I ask a question? Why would you suggest something that works to our advantage? Heh. I may be a Ruda, but I am not a cheater, no. The ring is holy and its rules absolute. Perhaps my respect for such things is even why the Spirit Ocean has designated a ruler. Furthermore, this battle is meant to celebrate Christmas. The more exciting it is, the better for everyone. Hmm, opponent or not, I can't argue. I can't argue with that. There's no point in putting on a show without working with the crowd, no? Show stuff aside, I don't see you guys being able to win right now anyway. At this point, I think making a strategic retreat, entering this tournament, climbing the rankings, and eventually facing off against Dark Butzel Mask in the ring might be our only realistic option. You should listen to the Chica Inteligente. Why, thank you, but you'll have to forgive me if I'm not entirely buying what you're selling here. It's a bit hard to believe that you're using the Holy Grail's power out of the goodness of your heart. 
And since we can't let you get away with whatever you're planning, enter entering the tournament is the most expedient way to stop you. Oh, don't doubt me. I mean everything I said. This battle will decide Santa's rightful successor. The winner will become Santa. A Santa so powerful they'll be able to make every day Christmas, whether it's December 25th or not. And leave the other Santa as nothing more than a distant memory. I don't know what that means, but it sounds big. As a Santa aspirant, I'm sure you want this power for yourself. Now go on, the tournament begins tomorrow. Show me the meet minimal qualification to enter and I'll permit you to do so as Caldea's team. Go ahead and do your worst. <laughs> Stampy. Idiot. This is an this is an unexpected twist, yes? Uh but getting the fight by the Rose of Lucha is the best news I've had all day. As long as it is my precious Lucha Ring, I can pile drive that mask goddess into the mat any day of the week, yes? Pero, I still have no idea what she was talking about. She's still very bad at explaining things. She's something about qualifications, yeah? Why would she tell us to qualify after she personally invited us to the tournament? It makes no sense. Now that you mention it, that does seem strange. Hmm, full? Um, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I think you might know what she meant. She gave us a hint earlier, which she mean by minimum qualifications. Are you saying you figured it out? Yes, Black Quetzal Mass actually said it quite clearly. This tournament is a tag team competition. It's going to be a tag team, which means you need to fight a partner who will step into the ring with you. Blancha Suicida? Plancha Suicida! Shoutouts to Excalibur on. <laughs> uh. Oh, wait. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Uh. And with that, I believe that's the end of today's video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Because it's going to be a tag team tournament player. Oh, hello, Quetz. I'm going to have a special alone time with Quetz. I'll see you guys in the next one.